Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just finished this beautiful, beautiful orange lace wig install. Of course, I did it for you guys, the beginners, the intermediate, the girls who just want a little bit of fun and color. We're gonna be doing a start to finish unboxing and this one comes courtesy of Dorsani. They did send this beauty to me. So when they sent this beauty to me, I was a little bit nervous about the color, but I think it bounces off my complexion so beautifully. I absolutely love it. So I did use my, let me turn it off, my Babyliss Curling Iron. Now this is one of my favorite curling irons when I'm not using a wand curler. And I did a little bit different of a technique today. I did kind of like the curl, let it kind of go curl let it go all the way down I don't know if I explained that right but it came out good the curls have held up um, I did this about an hour or so ago and took a break and went to go eat and the curls are just as tight as they were an hour ago so I love this one I loved it in its natural state but I think I did an amazing job giving it some beautiful curl and some body let me know what you guys think look how beautiful the hairline looks and how it blends with my complexion and I did minimal work I didn't pluck or tweeze anything at all so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial okay ladies jumping right into it this is the packaging i'll show you all of the goodies in just a moment but this is the star of the show here today we are working with a 13 by 4 hd lace front wig the color is a ginger orange and it's absolutely gorgeous body wave is going to be our texture today 22 inches in length and 180 percent density here's a look at the inside construction of the cap this is a free part lace wig so you will be able to part it from ear to ear here is a look at the back as i mentioned this is body wave texture and the body wave is definitely body waving here i'm going to show you what it looks like as a center part absolutely gorgeous I'm going to warm up the lace just a little bit by taking a foundation powder and a kabuki brush and I'm going to just buff that into the lace on the inside. I'm also going to tint the lace towards the very end but here I am just trying her on for size. I definitely loved how it looked as like a flip over side situation. It's definitely given a good like Jessica rabbit moment even though it's like an orange not a red. I really really love the way this look so I think that's what we're going to go with for today but first let's go ahead and begin the install process. You guys already know you got to cut off all the excess lace, even around the ears. You never want your wig to cover up your ears, so make sure you just get a nice pair of scissors or you can use like an eyebrow razor. Today I went with just regular scissors and then now we're going to go ahead and bond her down. You guys know I'm all for a glueless install. Today we are rocking with that Eben product from Amazon. And what's great about this is by the end of the day, I'll be able to just add a little bit of water and just remove her instantly and reapply the next day. I also love the fact that this one does not leave any residue. Um, this is definitely going to just be an easier way to maintain for a day to day. Here I am just tucking my edges, especially when you're using a colored wig that's not going to match your edges or your sideburns. Be sure to slick them back really good so they don't peek through. And also be sure to bond down your wig from ear to ear so that you don't see any of that. Here you can see like I bonded it down and it looked a little bit wonky because of uh, the excess amount of product I use. But of course we're going to clean that up in just a moment. Just trust the process. So now that we have her bonded down, let's go ahead and work on customizing the hairline. For today, I did opt for baby hair. Now, a lot of you don't prefer baby hair, but I personally love it all the way around, uh, especially with color wigs. I just feel like it helps me to um, make it look not so like Barbie dollish. I feel like sometimes, you know, when you do a un natural or unrealistic um color no matter how beautiful it is no matter how good the hair is sometimes it can definitely give barbie doll vibes if you don't do um, baby hair in my opinion now the amount of baby hair you do definitely is a to each its own type of situation too much can also give ghetto or you know barbie doll or whatever um so definitely be careful and just find your own happy medium here i went ahead and did sideburns just to make sure we cover up those uh real brown sideburns and i did the opposite side off camera i love how much i did it is definitely good baby hair but it's subtle enough that it just doesn't go too crazy especially in person here i am just kind of making sure i didn't want to do a center part the great thing about lace and a lace front is that you can switch it up whenever you want but i definitely felt like the side swoop gave a little bit more oomph 
on this particular day. So we went ahead and stamped out that side part and we're using our dynamic duo to go ahead and really, really stamp it in. You want to make sure everything is nice and sleek. You don't want it frizzy. You don't want it to look, you know, too messy. So this is just going to tame everything down, get rid of any frizz. Um, we love a good volume moment in most cases, but then sometimes you just want it to be a little bit more slick down and tame. And so that's what we're working on right now. As I mentioned, I do love the baby hair. And as you guys also know, I sometimes will skip out on sideburns. When you are working with a colored wig with no dark root, that probably is a great time to go ahead and use sideburns again, just to make sure that everything is color covered because you definitely don't want to see like black or brown textured kinky uh, sideburns when you have this beautiful, vibrant color. It kind of will throw the whole thing off. Now that we've kind of have stamped out that side part, I'm going in with a foundation powder and I'm just buffing it into the hairline. I'm being very generous. This is going to tint the lace and help it to melt with my own complexion. Now, the great thing about the one that I'm using is that it is like a cool tone shade. So it doesn't give that orange or red vibe that a lot of lace tint products will give. Also, it blends with my complexion, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. So that definitely is a bonus. And I believe I put concealer in the, uh, parting but you can barely see it now i'm going to go ahead and curl the hair today i went with my babyless curling iron which is something that i think this is my favorite actual curling iron but i definitely went ahead and went on tiktok and just kind of mimicked a technique that i seen i feel like a lot of um girls will use this technique when it comes to curling their hair especially if your hair is thicker or longer because a lot of the times you will curl um like grab the hair and curl it from like the bottom to the top and um, expect the entire thing to be super curled but this is more of a concentrated way of like making sure that each section of the hair gets a good amount of like direct heat on that curling iron i was a little bit nervous here because of how the curl was like super super surely simple and like super surely simple but you're gonna see in just a moment it gave a lot of by body and volume and i really do love the way it came out so i'm just going to do a few more for you guys and again this was i've done this before a few times just like thinking um or trying to do it off the top of my head but this time i actually followed a tutorial on tiktok so like the more i did it the more i uh, got practice and got the hang of it um it's definitely easy it's just a matter of like releasing that top one and getting to the bottom piece if that makes any sense also be mindful that I did not straighten the hair. So the roots, especially in the back, definitely still have that body weight texture to it. If you want yours to be super, super, super sleek, I highly recommend wash, condition, blow dry. Go through the entire process and this is what's going to give you the best results. Or even if you don't do that, at least like straighten it out so that those roots will blend in with the rest of the hair. I was kind of going for a messy vibe, so it all worked out in the end. But just a little bit of a tip. Now I'm done one side, I did the opposite side off camera and here I am just um, pulling the curls apart with my hands. I believe I did use a heat protectant but I did not use any um, holding spray and I do love the fact that it super 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 beautiful it held the curl like a dream i definitely love this technique and i'm going to be giving it a lot more practice look how beautiful the curl and wave pattern is it's very uniform it's very 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 defined also um, i do have a link for this wig in the description box and there you will find that you can get this wig in a few different options i believe it may go to a 30 or 32 uh length um as far as length goes, I got, I got stuck there. And then you can also get this as a closure or a frontal. Um, and then you can also switch up the density. So definitely check it out so that you can, you know, choose your own and customize your length, your density, as well as your lace cap construction. Here is a look at the packaging. You did get your dust bag, a wig cap. Um, I believe you got a melt belt. And then you also got a pair of lashes. And that's pretty much it. Okay, ladies, we are officially done with this look. And I wanted to just come and talk about it. So you guys know I'm not amazing with curls. I just feel like it's 
it has to be so simple and easy that I'm just making it more difficult than it has to be. But today, I think I did a great job. Today was a good day. But it's giving a Jessica Rabbit vibe, and I am feeling it. I love how warm I made the hairline. It definitely blends with my complexion amazing. I'm sorry if you see me keep squinting this eye. I'm trying not to get the hair in my eye, but at the same time, I want it in my eye, so... That's a hot mess, but I love, love, love the side part and the vibe that I give. I'm going to do it deeper, like, for my pictures and stuff, but for now, I just want to um, be able to not look awkward with one eye flinching or whatever you want to call it, but I love it. It looks absolutely beautiful, and this dress here is from, I believe, Jerly She. I've had it for a while and never put it on. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Again, I just wanted you guys to see how beautiful um, the hair is, and I did do the install probably about an hour ago, so the hair... The curls are definitely holding up. They definitely are going to continue to hold amazing. The color bounces off my complexion amazing and I absolutely love it. So be sure if you are interested to check this out in the description box. I'll have everything you need to know about this beauty and the company. Also, I have lists and links of everything we use to complete this look. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it so much if you joined the tribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!